Hello, welcome to Photography Out Loud. My name is Paul Davis, and as always, I'm joined with my colleague Joe Longbone. How are you doing today? Yeah, good. You? <laughs> yeah, you sound you, you sounded like pretty scared then when I when I said your name. You're like, Ooh. oh, <laughs> <laughs> don't know why. It's, have, have you just got that Friday feeling? Friday, Friday. <laughs> it's no different. I'm at home anyway. <laughs> Can't go yeah, anywhere. I'm looking- I'm looking a bit pasty today. I don't know why. Yeah, I've I've used a slightly warmer white balance just to make me look like I might have been on holiday at some point in the past two years. Yeah. Okay. I've we'll seen the sun at least a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it has it has been uh, it has been very nice weather that we've been having. Yeah. It's a bit cold, but the sun has been out, which has always been uh, it's always very nice to see. So yeah, it's like minus uh, three the other night. Yeah, absolutely crazy, but clear skies. So um, I, I know I know some of our customers. I don't know whether some of you watching will have uh, been out taking pictures of the stars. Um, but uh, please let us know if you've been sort of out taking photos at night. So um, let us know how you've been getting on. Uh, we are live here today as well. So let us know that you're watching live. Give us a wave. Give us a hello. It's always nice to know that uh, we're not just speaking to ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> like normal and, um, and yeah well yeah just, just standard really isn't it so but <laughs> i'm 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 doubly excited today joel so Ooh, why is that there's two things two things Ooh. we get to discuss the uh, uh project that uh we uh we started at the uh just before christmas uh and also we have our special guest joining us today as well which is uh paul sam He'll be joining us uh, very, very shortly. So that's uh, exciting. Or Marty, really as he goes by, also known as AKA. Yeah, yeah. You're just never gonna, you're never gonna let that drop, are you? Never gonna let that. Hundred percent not. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, who's with us today, Joel? Um, well, most of you will know him, hopefully, because he's a very good friend of ours. Um, it is Paul Sanders, the illustrious photographer. Shall we bring him that's- on? Let's you bring him on. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh <dear. laughs> We're getting kicked off YouTube now. <laughs> Would you like that, boys? Less than 20 seconds, oh. so we're okay. Amazing. <laughs> now Paul, we've now lost Paul for the rest of this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, the, I've got a whole repertoire, oh. boys. I've got a whole repertoire. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> we'll have a, a bloopers reel with a karaoke with Paul Sanders. You, well, you know. I mean, there's so much there's so much material here for you so much you can well imagine yeah now it's been a while since i saw you i think the last time i saw you was before christmas there's a few changes i noticed joel you appear to have come out of a closet and uh (laughs) paul has moved into a cave Um, and And you've become a horticulturalist I have, yeah. I mean, I've got my plants. I talk to them all. They're very nice. Um, you know, but I mean, what is with Paul's hair? Um, <laughs> that's what oh, happens no. when the barbers and hairdressers are not allowed at it, and he doesn't trust his partner to do what she did last time to his hair. I, I have to, you know. <sighs> right. I can just imagine you running your running your little fingers through it, Joel, getting all excited. <laughs> your little, little hobbit like finger. Uh, uh. Oh. Right. And this I is why we love it because myself. we get so much abuse from Paul Sanders. You know, 
There's a um, wet, wet, wet recorded a song called Angel Eyes, Joel. Just oh, thinking dear. about that. Yeah. <laughs> Oh dear. Right, let's go through some of these comments first before we go oh, we on to the project. Watching. Yeah, we've yeah, got people watching. watching. <laughs> yeah, we've got uh, Snowden Curtis saying, nice to see you both. Nice to see you too. Uh, we have uh, David Yeoman. Good afternoon. Hopefully you won't tell us that we're wrong at any point. Possibly. Hi, Paul and Joel, and hope you're not too cold. No, I'm good. I've got the heating on. Um, Dillis Waves. Oh, hello, Dennis, Dennis Hocking says... Hi guys, loving the hair. <laughs> <laughs> that was probably jealous. Gary, Gary's got a wave or a snow icon, I think. Oh, um, Ian says, oops, sorry, Joel, not Joe. It's all good. I've had <laughs> all sorts of names. That's a very polite one, to be honest. So there we go. Um, Tina says, hi guys, just had my COVID jab. Oh, oh brilliant. Times. Yeah, um, sore arm, Michelle says, Marty, yeah. <laughs> Tina says hi, Paul. Um, Hello, and Dennis. Dennis Hawkins says, "If Paul sings again, I'm ringing up." <laughs> <laughs> yes, please for that. To Mark said, "I'm not quite sure what that was referring to." Eric says, uh, "Is waving." Uh, she says, "I have hair issues. Too much of it." I think that's our issue as well, to be honest. Yeah. And Chris says, "Good afternoon again." Good to see you all. I like the fact that Dennis said uh, he might ring off if you keep singing. Yeah. What what a great turn of phrase as well. Yeah. <laughs> Ringing off. Good to see you, Dennis. Oh, Gary well, Eisenhower said, you said send a wave. So I did. Ah, I see uh, what okay. you did there. Yeah. See? Oh, that's very very clever. clever. That's clever. Yeah. It almost whooshed over our heads, that. <laughs> Through, through your hair to make it a <laughs> <laughs> surfer look. Oh, oh dear me, dear me. Oh, so, well, it's, uh, I, I must say, it's wonderful having you back again, Paul. It's always lovely yeah, to have you uh, on our episodes here. So, yeah. have, you been, have you been keeping busy since last time we saw you? Yes, well, we had Christmas, we had New Year. Um, yeah. Then Joel remembered that we'd done a project and we had to put a slideshow gallery exhibition thing together. Um, <laughs> so I'm back. Uh, yeah, I've been really busy actually. I've been doing lots of workshops uh, online, um, obviously, and um, took delivery of the GFX 100S um, a couple of days ago. Ooh. There's going to be a few jazz yeah, comments coming through soon. That's. Um, I have to say, I'm not going to promote it because we've got a thing coming up soon about it, but it, it's a bit special. It's a that, bit. Just a side note, 26th of February, we've got Paul joining us again to talk about the new GFX 100S. Very exciting. That's if Dennis Hocking hasn't been to the house and burgled me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know what he's doing. We're, yeah. we're rounding his balaclava. So, <laughs> we Dennis, you'll have to send your lawyers to speak to him. His his <laughs> views are his own, not ours. <laughs> oh, we've got some more comments. Mark Bray says Paul's gags. He's so funny. There we go. I don't know which Paul we're talking about. And then Craig not Davis me. says, What hair straighteners does emo Paul recommend? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Craig. Paul's uh, going to come uh, on to My Chemical Romance next week. <laughs> <laughs> an entry song. I, I, oh, I think here we go. We've got that. Helen. Yeah, we've got Helen Smith. Hello yeah. with the oh, cat ladies oh, dancing again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there needs to be three cat ladies, but I don't think they do a... They, they do an emoji for that yet. So we'll have to put in a special request for every yeah. time Paul comes on. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. Yeah. Right, shall we oh. shall we go through the um the uh the um pictures? Yes, we shall bring it up. We should because so I think let's... the slide is about four hours long, isn't it? <laughs> well, we did we did have uh loads of lo lovely entries in uh Set for good. the uh, for the special for projects that uh that that you sat for us yeah. um but if you could give us a give us a reminder paul of uh 
uh, what the special project uh, was about? Um, well, it was just a lockdown project to keep us entertained. So we had a couple of, uh, a couple of well, we had three little projects, as you can see on screen, by the back door. That was something just outside your back door. On my way was obviously, you know, a bit like what it says on the tin. On your way to somewhere, from somewhere, um, could be done on your way to the kitchen, on your way to the shops, and then after dark. Well, which I'll is that. after dark? Yeah, well, wow, yeah, there it could be many, anything. There were, yeah, there were many pictures from Joel that were sent to me that I had to censor. Yeah, we did have to remove them, didn't we? Totally out of the uh, out of the uh, slideshow altogether. Yeah, I mean, why you didn't use that Olympus macro lens? I don't know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I'm biting my tongue so much right now. Yeah. Now we've got the slideshow and we've put everybody's name down at the bottom left. Some people submitted stuff into every category, and some people didn't. There are some really great pictures in this, and I think what's so what's so wonderful about it is the the diversity of of entries the the interpretation of of everything it's fantastic i love a good badger <laughs> i think what's uh, what was really nice as well it, it gives people because obviously they're very and I, I know we've sort of uh, we played on it a little bit before but they were very loose briefs um and uh, why Paul? why <laughs> i'm sorry i have to the ammunition uh, you're giving him but it's it's very nice it, it gives it gives us a little insight into how people sort of look at uh, you know yeah. the the three different categories and yeah. how all of them even though they're they're very very simple and how we've mm. got an, an array of images that are all so so different as well yeah and you know it's is one of the things that i think photography celebrates is the uniqueness of how people see and the simplicity of it you know it the, the a lot of what happens is we end up trying to shoot the same way but what lockdown has done in a really positive way is enabled us to express ourselves individually because we're not all together but then sharing them on platforms like this it is just wonderful because seeing how other people see is inspiring um and and i i just love it i was putting this slideshow together and the, and i was thinking do you know bearing in mind that we spent half the time joking and laughing about this the the quality of photographs the quality of image making the the intensity of the seeing and uh, the creativity is just spectacular um and you know i i'm I was blown away by it. I think there's some absolute beauties uh, that would look amazing. You know, if we were properly open, we could print them up and they would look really, really beautiful. Um, there are one or two where when they were sent over, the resolution because of the sending was a bit low. So they're a bit smaller in the slideshow. Um, you know, but the, the ideas behind them are fantastic. You know, and they don't really need any explanation. You don't need loads of words about them um they're just they're just lovely i'm so impressed with the the way that you know the the people that joined in have seen and interpreted it it's just wonderful yeah and uh the diversity of them as as she said as well it's just i mean we can see it as as we go through um and you know they the one thing that i really like is that there's you know they all stand out sort of as as lovely images on their own um, mm. as well but once again it, it gives another element knowing that they they fit into some form of element that we've been able to set as well um yeah so you know you can look at them w within almost with you know with 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 different looks about them knowing that well the lovely images as they stand but then obviously when you bring them into uh bring them into a project like this as well it sort of adds an extra meaning to them as well and it helps a little bit with with the storytelling as well. So knowing that you know that you know, especially, I, I'm really intrigued by you know the the by the back door ones. You know, it it, yeah. it really just gives you a, a little insight into you know in, into people's lives and you know mm. almost what their sort of back garden or you know where they're looking from is. Uh, 
you know, because it's it's the view that they're very much used to. And, yeah. Uh, could potentially be very hard to photograph it because you see it every day. I mean, um, you know, uh, me and Joel are in uh, sort of Conway in North Wales, and you know, we see Conway Castle every day. Uh, we probably uh, neither of us have photographed it <laughs> because we're, you know, I was we're thinking about that the other day. <laughs> yeah, and I probably uh, need to. So yeah, ex exactly. You know, Paul Paul puts his uh, hand in his face there, and it, it's just showing that actually there, there's beauty literally just outside either your front door or your back door and setting little projects like this um really just gives you a little bit of a little bit of confidence to go out and actually take pictures and um i think it's something that uh, we all need as well because yeah. you know everything is dragging on a little bit uh, just have something to to do something to you know be excited about and to to get involved with really really does help uh, not only with your photography, but just with general well-being as well. Yeah. And, you know, the, the other thing is that a lot of these pictures, there's a wonderful sense of humour about them. You, yeah. know, the, you know, the people are, people have engaged with it, with, uh, you know, the humour that you guys put out. Um, and there's a, you know, there's a wonderful curiosity to some of the pictures. I mean, they're absolutely brilliant. This, this one, that that one, the dog at the window, it's just, <laughs> but you, you look at them, the way people have interpreted, you know, you've got documentary stuff, you've got abstract stuff, you've got still life stuff. It's, it, you know, the, there's a whole range of, you know, genres being captured by, by the people who've tuned in. Uh, and I, I think it's just brilliant um it's really really made me smile um and and it just shows that there's no right or wrong way to interpret a brief there's just your way and you know this is a celebration of individuality um on every level i, I think it's just just wonderful no it's, it's wonderful to hear uh, joel you're very quiet why is joel so quiet <laughs> um, because it's quite noisy at home with two uh, small offspring. <laughs> oh, right, okay. And you wouldn't be able to hear it very successfully. Um, you, are you hovering over the mute button? <laughs> 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 yeah. And I, I think as well is just, um, and I know we talked about it originally when you, know, when you came on and we sort of asked, you know, where did the inspiration come from? Uh, when when setting uh, these little sort of mini projects and the names behind them, um, and he sort of mentions that you know uh, you know like uh, by the back door while I was standing by my by my back door when I thought of this and I was on my way uh, to the shed in my garden yeah. and I set on my way and I think it's just um, you, you know as far as if you're stuck taking pictures then almost setting little projects inside your head yourself yeah. can be a really good way of you know getting you out and sort of taking pictures or not even getting out staying in you know it's just yeah. you know if, if a thought comes into your head like oh i wonder if if that would be good you know turn it into a little project have mm -hmm. a play uh, you know send your images into us we can have a look at them and you know if you wanted us to share them then that's something that we can that we can do as well um, but just you know mainly sort of you know taking the pictures and really enjoying this 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 wonderful hobby is it's, it's what it's all about <laughs> yeah i mean it, it's turning your every day into something special yeah, um, and people often think that they have to go somewhere or be somewhere or do something special in order to make wonderful images. But actually, every single day of your life is completely unique. And there are moments within that day that are just beautiful. But because we're so busy, often we don't pay attention to them. And I, I think giving yourself little projects you know can really really just sort of make you aware of of the of what happens every day to you you know make you aware of actually taking part in your own life um you know because often we we just go from moment to moment to moment to moment without really paying attention and being able to sort of go Do you know what? i'm just gonna stop pause for a second and photograph that 
because it's it's a it's a lovely thing to do um you know and it can raise a smile it can raise a question it can make you think about stuff um and you know that's that's what it's about it, it's about being part of, uh, of your, your own life and, and appreciating what you what you've got uh, so i I just, I, and what I'm amazed about is how many people have got statues by their back door. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of statues. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like I need to add some statues by my back door now, yeah, just to definitely. sort of just to just to feel part of uh, part of the crew. Yeah. Of, uh, I'm going to get a statue. <laughs> <laughs> I need, need a statue in my life. Yeah. I, I, I've just I've just seen Steve uh, come into the chat here as well, um, and yeah. we'll we'll come to the comments in a minute. But uh, I know Steve had some pictures uh, at, at the beginning of the slideshow, so you'll have to make sure that you you go back and uh, and s see your images come up on the uh, on, on screen, Steve. So, but it's uh, good yeah. good to have you joining here today. Yeah. So it's, it's um, a long. <laughs> it is available on catch up yes <laughs> on facebook and youtube <laughs> yeah um but yeah i mean some some people their their back door is a you know is a city and then other people their their back door is literally kind of open countryside um and the the, the diversity of what people are working with is amazing and to be able to make images out of some of it is incredible and it just shows you the talent that they have um i mean this this picture of the uh, of just the leaves by helen how beautiful just a pile yeah. of leaves okay. yeah. um, and how often do we walk past a pile of leaves yeah and once again would the question be if i didn't have this little mini project in my head you know would i have taken that picture mm. and you know now that's that's a moment in time that's captured uh, yeah. and not only captured that you're able to to share with people and you know not only show your work but share that little moment that uh, mm. that you'll remember as well so i know we've got some images coming up on the screen that you uh, mentioned before uh paul i believe uh, with some uh uh is it the cyanotypes uh, oh right yes yeah we, that, uh, that, we I were, think that are going to be coming up soon yeah, well, we were joking during the uh, the, the briefing about um, people trying to do cyanotypes. I think Chris actually um, <laughs> did Chris actually, actually did it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's quite nice. Uh, but, you know, the, the imagination that's been applied, um, I can only say it's a privilege to put the, the images together um, and to be to be part of it and to think that really it came out of a very casual conversation um between us and the response that we've had i mean there's you know there's well over a, a hundred entries and there's no prize you know so it just shows that we're not motivated by there you go this is this is by the back door <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's brilliant <laughs> um, be interesting so, to see what jill thinks of these cyanotypes because i know jill yeah, enters yeah. some images yeah yeah, we'll have to get more feedback on his sanitimes. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I, I think the the fact that people have entered just because they can enter and not because there's a prize or, you know, an I mean, acute doctor attached to it, it's just for the joy of making images. That That's what really, really lifts my heart. I just think it's so wonderful that people have just taken part for the sake of taking part. And, and you know, yeah. I mean, I know, I know people only tune into this because they're bored on a Friday afternoon, um, and that's fine. What are um, you suggesting, Paul, that we don't put on a quality production? <laughs> Honestly, we're not having this fella on again, Paul. As, as, as he says, sitting in front of his wardrobe. <laughs> yeah. It's not a wardrobe, it's an office cupboard. It's not a cupboard, it's a closet. Get back in. <laughs> <laughs> this is how rumors start, Paul. Oh, yeah. <laughs> These urban ones by Tina, I, I thought were really interesting. And there's, um, there's some of her. These in the, in the lift, I thought were really lovely. 
Yeah. And also, I, I remember Tina commenting at the time as well that, uh, you know, when we set the project of, uh, of, of by the back door, she sort of said, well, I haven't got a back door. And mm. interestingly enough, you know, she, she, she took, took this upon this and sort of said, well, you know, what, what can I photograph that sort of simulates a, a back door? And I believe these are the images coming up now, which are the sort of through, maybe um, uh, sort of through a window, maybe where she yeah, works right. i'm not too sure mm -hmm. um but uh uh yes you'll have to put in the comments tina of where you took these pictures but you know having that that double layered sort of that that image there yeah. as well obviously the uh i'm not quite sure if it's a reflection from the window or whether there's an overlay on there but uh um it, you know how that effect works is uh is, there we go hospital window uh yeah so um yeah just just giving you know, just that extra thing there. And, uh, well, I haven't got a back door, but I've got this window looking out. And technically, this is what I see as my as, as my back door. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, that's that, that whole thing is so inspiring, the, the way everybody's just applied themselves to it. So we we should definitely do another one. But I don't know whether people are people want another one. Well, we should get people to put in the comments below whether they'd like us to come up with another special project with Paul to participate mm. in. And if there's enough uh, people who want to, then we'll uh, we'll, we'll mm. gently persuade Paul to come up with some of the concepts for us. I, I have here, I, I take oh. this everywhere with me, all right? This is my bag full of ideas. It's a little, wow. little, little bag, all right? And it's full of ideas. I mean, do they have a physical? Do they have a physical form, or is it just because it's Friday? It's a bit empty because I'm a bit tired. Okay. But by Monday, it'll be full again. I feel like I'm watching a children's show. <laughs> oh, dear me. Right, let's get on. So there's been there's been loads of comments streaming in. So um, I don't know where you left off from, Joel. But here we go. <laughs> I know where we left off. Uh, so Sarah Jones has said Sarah. she's done a bunk. Yeah, which is terrible, honestly. Bunking off on a Friday. Nobody's ever done that before. That's terrible, right? And this is the emoji from Helen of the. Uh, uh, so I'm fever, guessing... Saturday night fever. So. <laughs> So if we can find a way of putting that man symbol in between the two cats, then I think that I think we're on a roll, aren't we? <laughs> I think that's going to be a Photoshop jobby, isn't it? Maybe. <laughs> um, Eric is asking where Sarah Jones is. She might explain further down. I'm not sure. Uh, Helen Cubs. says. <laughs> I hope not. That'd be really weird. <laughs> oh. And it would totally break COVID protocol as well. Oh, she's wearing a um, and yeah. <laughs> Oh dear. Um, Helen says loving Ingrid's. Yeah, I think Ingrid's uh, were really lovely. Um, Helen said she was enjoying these. I guess that means in their entirety. Uh, Chris said some amazing images. Well done all. I can go along with that. Hi everyone from a still locked down island till May. Hello Nick Can. Um, uh, you mentioned Steve earlier. Good yeah. to see you, Steve. Um, Eric says, super images. Thank you. Catch up soon. We'll definitely look forward to it. Um, uh, great images, says Mark Bray. Um, Steve says, cheers, Paul. Will do. Typical been waiting for weeks for this, lol. <laughs> <laughs> and then so it's like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> terrible, terrible. Um, so apparently, oh, where are we, where are we now? Here we go. Um, Sarah says, Camilla Camper has a problem, but I'm sitting getting it fixed watching this. Sounds like a good way of spending your time getting the camper van fixed. Uh, you Paul says, not at all, Paul. Very much. <laughs> Say again. <laughs> yeah. He's got his finger under the, under the words of the screen. Yeah. <laughs> not at all, Paul. We love it. Emoji with half eyes. Um, I should just on, get um I should just get the <laughs> Apple computer to to read it out in that Apple voice. You know what, I, I need to go through some <laughs> I need to go through some preparation before Paul comes on next time because 
he's, he's put me out a good few times now, so I just can't go. Yeah, next comment, Joel. Next comment. <laughs> it's like the screen frozen. Oh, thank you, Paul. Thank you, Tina. Come on, Joel. Hospital window. <laughs> Come on, Paul. You're slapping. <laughs> just waiting for you to put your finger. Yes, roof across the window. Says Tina Hall. Oh, lovely. Thank you, Tina. Oh, it's nice to hear from you, Dillis. Fantastic. Yes, please do another one. Okay, I will. Uh, oh, yes, please. I'm assuming that's another project. Yay! Dancing oh, ladies, there we dancing go. There. Yeah. <laughs> Steve's up for another one. We need to make the time between doing it and putting it up a little bit quicker. Yeah. 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 Stephen Fraser, go for it, guys. I don't know whether I can go for anything with Joel. Was that everyone? <laughs> that was everyone's that I was sent, Michelle, yes. Yeah. If Do you think one. any if any of you think you've been left out, let us know and we'll definitely pop them in. Um there yeah. we go. Come on, Paul, catch up. Yes, do another one, please. I regretfully miss entering the last one. Exclamation mark. Loved your images, Lynn. Nice to see you again. Hello, Lynn. Lovely back door. I don't have to be calling peace. What, Paul with the hair or me, Paul? No, you. And Helen, yes, Lynn. This is like being a kind of halfway house between Helen and Lynn. Hello, Lynn. Yeah. Hello, Helen. Hello, Snowden. It would be good. Always to have a project. Yes, we'll give you a project. Don't worry. More projects, yes, please. Steve Morris, after those great images, it's got to be done again. I don't know whether you lot can match it, you know. Is that it, Joel? Are we there? Yeah, we're, we're there. We're caught up. Yeah. It would have been done faster if you'd have kept up, but there we go. Can't always get the readers, can you? Uh, I can't get my finger across the screen as quick as you. Because <laughs> you're older than I am. It is, yeah. Yeah. But thankfully, I look younger. <laughs> true mate <laughs> i don't know what mirrors you've been looking into ah oh, you've been putting the snapchat it. filter on haven't you i've got the zoom, the zoom filter that says enhanced appearance the what the zoom filter enhanced appearance oh i see <laughs> do your fans come on as the computer works really hard it does it's it's whirring away like you wouldn't believe it really, it, right, it, it Helen fun. says, hi, Joel. <laughs> Thanks, Helen. <laughs> <laughs> well done, well done. Well, I think it would be a good point to say thank, big thank you to everyone that has uh, commented here today as well. So uh, it's the reason why we can... Uh, where we can make these weekly sort of episodes as well is everyone commenting, uh, knowing that we're not just speaking to ourselves. And um, I think we should also say a big, a big thank <laughs> you to, <laughs> to all of the people that entered into uh, this project. Um, not only was uh, it was a wonderful experience for you guys to actually have, I'm trying to keep a great face, um, Close your eyes, Paul. I, I, I'm trying. <laughs> I can't blink. Um, but a big, big thank you to everyone that entered. It was wonderful seeing your images and uh, allowing us to share them uh, with everyone as well. And uh, just just having that opportunity of, of sharing work and enjoying in uh, this l wonderful hobby that we all love doing together as well makes it all worthwhile. It really, really does. <laughs> <laughs> Tina says, are you going to put um, on the cat face on Zoom like the guy in court? <laughs> oh, Sarah Jones, are we having an exhibition? Great question, because, yes, hopefully. We'd love to, once COVID has done one, um, as some people have said in the past, we would love to have an exhibition where you can physically come into the shop. Uh, also, we're thinking of having uh, a book so that you can order a book online and have all of these images in a nice collection. Because I think the three of us both really enjoy the fact that you the can print up your images and see the what? You said the three, the three of us both. Oh, all right. I'm so used to saying just me and Paul, and now you've joined the party. No, don't forget me. How could we ever forget you? <laughs> Unforgettable. 
in more ways than one. <laughs> um, yeah, so we'll do a book because we all, not both, all of us, <laughs> enjoy seeing images printed, as I'm sure many of you um, in the comments do as well. Mm. So yes, we'll work on that as well. And maybe if we're doing other projects, we can combine them into a larger book so that there's more Coffee images. Table. In. Ooh, yeah. Cambrian, the big Cambrian book of photos. There we go. Yeah, it's got a lovely ring to it. Joel. Say again. With colouring in pages for Joel. <laughs> <laughs> Paint by numbers. Yeah. <laughs> you could just have shutter speeds instead of just single digits. Oh, God, no. Let's not do shutter speed. Let's not do anything technical. Let's just make it about the photos. <laughs> Paint by F stop. <laughs> All right. Oh, dear. Right. Um, Miss <sighs> the beginning of my images. Are you saving it to YouTube for viewing it later? Yes, we definitely are, John. Uh, you can go back and have a, a watch through. Um, so we're going to see you on the 26th of February, Paul. We are, yeah. To talk about the GFX 100S, as we mentioned earlier. And then hopefully, if we can persuade you to, we'll do another project with you before lockdown ends. I promise. Yeah. Sounds I've good. Got, I've got a couple of ideas already. Excellent. Sounds good oh. to me. Do you have any last thoughts before we uh, remove you from the screen? Ideas and the <laughs> idea bank already. Let put them in. <laughs> it's like a bank account, always putting in, never taking out. I'm glad your bank account's like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a don't photographer. <laughs> I, don't yeah. I don't work in a shop. <laughs> oh dear. Right, okay. any last thoughts? Or is that the last uh, thought? No. Um, I think there might be a few images that weren't in the slideshow that people might have sent that we need to find to put in the slideshow um but other than that it's been brilliant i really enjoyed it really really enjoyed I, it. I think as well the the slideshow will be available on our website at, at 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 some point as well i think that was the that was the plan as well so um yes. i, I yeah. think if the, if there were some missing images somewhere then we'll get those sorted and uh, get them yeah. in and uh, they'll still be viewable on our yeah. on our website as well and so then once again, send, when, and, oh. sorry oh so you can send the images to joel at cambrianphoto.co.uk. So if any were missing, just send them to me and we'll get them put in there and put up on the website. Do not fear. Yeah, because you've only had two months to do this, Joel. It's not like you're going into, the, into work to do anything, is it? Two months sitting at <laughs> home, picking your emails up and, and losing, losing, losing pictures. Losing pictures. Oh dear. I love speaking to you, Paul. I always no, feel don't. so much better. <laughs> I love you guys. You know that. Well, I'll do anything, Paul, to, anything to help you. Um, anything absolutely to wonderful you. to have you on. Yeah, it really, really was. I'll see, I'll see you in a couple of weeks with the GFX 100S for our Q&A. Yeah. <gasps> yeah, I'm going to blindfold Paul so he doesn't get um, wound up by you. <laughs> And we lose him to fits of laughter and tears again. No, I, I, I think I'm going to start some uh, uh, some uh, breathing techniques and, and okay. work on those. Yeah, meditation and breathing <laughs> techniques before Paul yeah. comes back on, so I can I can keep composed to whatever Paul you, can throw at me. You just need to get a little bit of self control. <laughs> yeah, all that. Um, so. Poor I'm Paul. Back I'll be back in a couple of weeks for the big one. And um, you two get a haircut. Yeah. Get a haircut. <laughs> oh, dear. Right. Wonderful having you, Paul. And uh, we look forward to seeing you in a couple of weeks' time when we yeah. have a look at the GFX 100S. Bye-bye for yeah. now. Right. Take care. Nice Bye. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Oh, cut him off prematurely oh, there. Honestly, so cool. my my special thing. Oh, look at that sad um, face. <laughs> yeah. You <laughs> made him cry. Indeed, like indeed. A sad so. emoji. Never know quite when to uh quite when to push uh, push that button. So um
yeah, once again, big, big thank you for uh, Paul Sanders coming on to today's episode. Uh, always lovely to have him and super excited to uh, have him back as we look at the GFX 100S within a couple of weeks. Uh, we're, there's been a lot of people excited about this camera. Um, we've mentioned it before uh, on these weekly episodes, but uh, we will be... Uh, will it be dedicated? I'm sure. Support, I'm sure, suppose it will, won't it? Dedicated uh, sort of show that we'll be doing on the GFX 100S. Where it'll be a live Q and A, and we'll be able to go through some of your questions that you have on the particular camera, uh, or if you're just wanting to know, you know, what all the hype's about, then that's what we're going to be here to help you sort of go through it. So. Um, I don't think time. there's been a lot of photography news recently, has there? So, oh, really? Um, I found a fun fact, though. Okay. <clears throat> so Canon have just produced their 150 millionth RF and EF series interchangeable lenses. So nice. apparently, if you lay them end-to-end, -end, um, all of them together, it would measure approximately 7,000 736 miles in length now interestingly that's nearly the same diameter as the earth which is approximately 7,917 <laughs> miles so there we go <laughs> Fun fact for you. that's an awful lot of lenses in a very long way <laughs> Yeah, and I, and I think really that's sort of obviously well done for Canon to get into that sort of amazing number. Uh, you know, being one of the one of the major manufacturers of uh, sort of photography gear uh, allows them to do that. But I mean, it it just puts it into perspective of you know how many people really enjoy photography and how many there are as about enjoying this hobby as well. So you know for. Uh, a lens manufacturer to say that we have so many lenses that if you stack them up, it can go around the world is just uh, it's pretty absolutely bonkers, bonkers. That, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah. Um, yeah as, as as far as uh, news from us, uh, we are still here doing click and collect in store. Um, Post so by the can, website. Yeah, you can either. Uh, see what we have in stock on our website. Uh, you can message us through the website as well or message us through Facebook. Um, or you can always give us a quick call uh, on our telephone number, which is 01492 532510. Um, so there's loads of different ways of getting in contact with us. So I'm not too sure why Joel's laughing. Um, it's because you say the number in a different way to me. I've always said it that way. Always. It just it doesn't way. sound right to me when you say it. Yeah, so there's still plenty of ways that you can get in touch with us, and we're still here to help with your photography needs as well. So uh, whether you're needing uh, a new battery or a new camera, maybe a the lab. 100S. Yeah, uh, <laughs> the lab's still open, so we can yeah. do all of your printing. We're still developing film, black and white and colour. Um, we're still repairing cameras, we can still clean sensors. We can convert VHS. We can recover images off memory cards. Whatever you need, give us a shout, and we'll try our best to help out. Definitely, definitely. So, um, yeah, you know, I've, I've really enjoyed uh, today's uh, episode. It's been absolutely amazing. So yeah, uh, it's been great to have Paul and to see all the lovely comments as well. Um, I've just been getting just, guests back as well, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. And just quickly going through some of the questions um, or the comments. Um, any images that have been missed, really sorry if they have been, not sure how, um, but feel free to resend them to joel at cambrianphoto.co.uk. We'll definitely get them added into the slideshow. Um, I don't know whether it ended up in my spam folder or something like that, maybe. Who knows? So, But yeah, send them over. We'll definitely get them put in. Not a problem at all. Also, Paul, just as a reminder, because we spoke about it last week, 75 years old this year, Cambrian is crazy. Oh. Um, so, if anybody has any images of Cambrian or anybody that used to work at Cambrian, etc., or anything related to 75 years of photography, send it over to us because we'd be very interested. We'd like to put together a project of uh, Cambrian's history. Um, and hopefully, at some point, we can have a celebration with cake. Lots of cake. Yes. <laughs> Always got to be cake. <laughs> yeah. And then also, as we announced last week, 28 to the 31st of May this year, we're going to be having our show. 
So yeah. because we won't be able to do it in person, we have another few ideas up our sleeves, so to speak. Yeah. So keep an eye out for those as we uh, work on those. And uh, yeah, hopefully you'll like what we come up with. So Yeah. And just remember that we always like to be different and try something new as well. So um, And challenging, and, Paul, and challenging. And, and, and challenging as well. So um, and, and we say these things live, so they're there. So, you know, you can always say, I thought you were going to do something different and new and exciting and brilliant. And, uh, you know, all of these wonderful words. Um, so we say them live, so we have to do them. So yeah. you know, very Definitely. much looking forward to what we can achieve uh, uh, for uh, our our main show that we do every year as well. So um, any final thoughts for uh, this evening before we break up for the weekend, Joel? No, just uh, have a great weekend. Stay safe, obviously. And uh, yeah, try and get your camera out at some point and uh, try something different to what you normally would and see what you come up with. Yeah. Well, I hope that uh, showing some of the images uh, that we've uh, had on this episode today has inspired you to go out and take some photos. Uh, please let us know if it has done. Uh, we always love to hear from uh, anyone watching or any of our customers. Uh, just let us know how you're getting on uh, with your photography. Uh, as always, if you can make sure that you like, share this video, uh, just basically tell everyone that you know about what we do here to help spread the word about uh, what we do and spreading the good word about photography. Um, I think that's it. <laughs> <laughs> What do we do now? Cheers, there everybody. We are, got to the video. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. <laughs> Everyone have a good weekend. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye. Uh,